Hi guys, Mama Shark here. Wait a minute, do not click away. I know there's a lot of unclogging your milk ducts videos and I've pretty much watched all of them. I just want to let you guys know that this is the video to watch because I actually did all the research in the world to include all kinds of ways you can unclog your milk ducts right now, including any supplements, any products, or even some of the most unconventional ways you can unclog your milk ducts just really with nothing. So make sure to stay tuned. In this video, I just wanted to let you guys know that I have a table of contents where I have broken down the different ways. I will be breaking down the ways you can unclog your milk ducts, the free methods, um, and then the methods where you might have to buy supplements or products to help you, which you might have already in your house somewhere. And also a very unconventional way to unclog your milk ducts, especially for those women that are exclusively pumping and don't have a baby to help them unclog their milk ducts. Because to be honest with you, that is one of the best ways to unclog a milk duct is having your baby empty your breasts. Do you feel like you're alone when you get um, these plug milk ducts because I did. Every time I got them, I started freaking out. Sometimes I would even get them at 2 a.m. in the morning and I would stay up for hours trying to get rid of clogged duct because what you don't want to happen is for it to turn into mastitis. Let me expand a little bit. Imagine this is your milk duct, okay? You have lots and lots of these in your breasts. And what happens is you get a clog somewhere in your milk duct and you still are producing milk. So what's gonna happen is it's going to back up and it's just all gonna collate right in that spot where it becomes a really hard, tender, really sore spot in your breast. And you can have more than one at once. And that is a clog in your milk duct. Now, why do they say you don't wanna to wait too long before you relieve this milk duct? Well, because if it's there for a while, what ends up happening is some women develop mastitis, which is a bacterial infection, where you'll get really high fever, you'll start to have maybe almost like flu-like symptoms, but a plugged milk duct can have many ways of showing itself. And the most primary way, obviously, is you feeling a little lump or maybe even more than one lump in your breasts and then you need to relieve. Also, another symptom of having a clogged duct is you'll immediately see a decrease in your milk supply. And you'll wonder, why do I have a decrease in milk supply? Go ahead and check yourself for a clogged duct. One study shows that mastitis will affect one in five women, most episodes occurring in the first six to eight weeks of breastfeeding. Okay guys, let's get into it. I just wanted to let you guys know that anything I mention, whether it's a product, it's a study, or anything I reference, I usually put in the description box below. So make sure to refer to that if you need anything. Start out with the free methods of getting rid of that clogged duct. So the first thing you want to do is get in a hot shower, let the hot water just get on wherever the clog is. If you even need to get in a bath and make sure that you're, the hot water is constantly around the clogged ducts and then start exp hand expressing, start trying to push it out, go from the top to the bottom out. Don't overdo it to where you're in so much pain you want to cry, but definitely try that first. Immediately after, try to breast pump or breastfeed the baby. The second method is obviously if you have a plug duct, you want to make sure that you're trying to pump it out or um, put the baby on the breast to help you get rid of that plug duct. Babies are the most efficient in emptying the breast, so you want to use that to your advantage. If your baby latches and you have that option, most definitely put your baby on the breast. Another way, guys, is something called dangle feeding. So basically, what you're going to do is you're gonna use gravity to help you get rid of that plug duct. 
So what you're going to do is actually dangle. <laughs> dangle so that your breast is dangling downwards and whether you're either trying to hold the pump to it, the flange to it, and try to pump, pump, pump with maybe hand massaging it out, or, um, or maybe dangle and put your baby on the bed and just try to have the baby um, literally using mechanics to get rid of your plug duct. So literally use mechanics to try to get rid of your plug duct after you dangle. Um, that way there is no obstructions. Your ducts is as straight as they can go downwards. Um, and then just try to get the plug duct out that way. Okay guys, here comes the controversial way of trying to get rid of your plug duct for free. Do not judge me for this. I had to use this because I was exclusively pumping. Both my babies didn't want to latch. I had to get artistic, okay? So I actually asked my husband to help me get the plug duct out. In no way was it anything other than just trying to get that plug duct to unplug and so I can just go on with my life. So that can also help if you don't have a baby that can empty you out because like I said, the mouth, the baby is one of the best, most efficient ways to empty your breasts. All right guys, so now let's get into the stuff that you might have in your house, you might not, we'll see. So the first thing that you can use, and I don't know if you guys have heard of this before, this is a Lovey massager, and I have the link to this in the description box below. And it's basically a vibrator. Hey ladies, so this is the Lovey massager. And the way basically it works, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but the way it works is it has many um, settings as a continuous vibrator and then some few different patterns every time you click this, which can really help with the unclogging of the milk ducts. So if you go at the tip and you put, let's say this is a clogged milk duct right here, and you try to work it downwards towards the nipple, just like that, and it actually does wonders. Um, obviously you can go up in intensity, you can go down in intensity, whatever you want to do. They say that this is the scooping, so you can actually also um, scoop downwards using the scooper as you're trying to get the, un the clog out. And uh, many great ways to do this. So. Um, I would definitely recommend this if you've never tried one before. The second thing I wanted to talk about is this. And this is what I really used a lot. It's not that expensive. Again, link in the description box below. But it is basically beads that you can microwave or even freeze whatever you want hot cold therapy with um trying to unclog your milk duct you're gonna want hot so i actually microwave this for like 13 seconds twice in a row and then i would place it on my breast obviously with this on and um attempt to pump at the same time and massage so it was like a triple threat <laughs> um i would pump have a heat compress on and um and massage the clogged area that usually does work for me um so you might have some heat pads laying around if you are currently experiencing a plug duct definitely use um, anything that you can get hot sometimes people just take a towel dunk it in water and microwave it put that around put um, the breast pump on and just massage as you're trying to pump it out okay and then another thing that you can use that might, you might already have is the willow pump the willow pump has interesting suction patterns that literally would unclog any milk duct that i had pretty much anytime I had one after I bought it. I didn't have it at the beginning of my breastfeeding journey, but afterwards it has a suction that kind of sucks the nipple in and it just stays in. And I think that constant suction 
really helped unplug any um, plug milk ducts that I had. Okay, and the last thing is the use of lecithin, sunflower lecithin. Here's the deal with this, guys. I actually had an allergic reaction to this. I, like, broke out in hives. I'm not saying you're going to. I'm saying if you're going to take something for the first time, make sure you're not allergic. They recommend that you take 3,200 milligrams of this stuff. This means more than one of these a day, depending on what supplement you're buying. Lecithin is an emulsifier, which basically makes sure that the fat doesn't get clogged up and that just keeps your ducts pretty much like oiled up to make sure that you're not getting plugged ducts. A lot of women use this like on a constant basis during their breastfeeding journey. I don't know if I would do it myself, to be honest with you. I tried one pill, broke out in hives, never again did I take it, but I wanted to bring it up here in this video because it has worked for some women. Lactation consultants talk about it all the time and that you can take 3,200 milligrams a day to help you remove your plug ducts. Some people take that, then hit it up with the other methods that I talked about. There is a study that is linked to this, to lecithin, that might, might, further research is required, but that might cause depression. So I would definitely, you know, if you have depression, I would weigh out the benefits versus the risks of using lecithin. Um, obviously, there's a lot of other methods that I mentioned in this video that I would try to attempt before going to this as a last resort. Okay, guys, so what you need to do to prevent clogs. So, what you need to do first and foremost is always make sure that you are not wearing any tight clothes any tight bras because that alone will cause a backup and um it, it pretty it makes sense i mean when you're kind of squishing everything and you're kind of squishing your ducts in um and that will cause a clog one other thing that helped me as an exclusively pumping mom is to make sure that I'm changing up the pumps. I found that some pumps created a clog for me like Spectra Pump. It's just the way the way the Spectra Pump pumps, it goes like ding, 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 like it sucks it in in phases, um, has cr actually created uh, clogs for me. And I think it has to do with, um, again, in how to increase your milk supply video below, I recommend that you change also your pumps up so you get more supply um, because the baby also has an unpredictable suction patterns and that is what your body expects and that's when it creates more milk. This is my theory, guys, my theory. Um, but yeah, so with the Spectra pump, it created more milk for me, which was um, unusual for me to, for example, have to pump earlier than I needed to and um, that caused clogged ducts for me. So that's why I stayed away from the Spectra pump, but definitely change up your pumps, see what works for you, see if any of them are creating clogs for you um, and make sure you, you take that as, as needed. A known fact about this is you have to make sure you're properly emptying your breasts to make sure that you're not getting un you're not getting clogged ducts. Another thing you have to pay attention to, do not go long periods of not pumping because if your body expects that you're emptying your breasts, for example, every three hours, and then for the first time ever, you sleep through the night or something crazy happens and you were not able to feed your baby or you were not able to pump on that expected time that your body is used to being emptied, that could also create clogged ducts. So definitely be careful with that. There's a lot of amazing portable pumps out there now that helps moms with this that are easily concealable like like the willow and the LV pumps and I actually have a lot of videos on those on my channel so make sure to check those out subscribe because I have a lot more to come on that as well if you're trying to drop a pump because you're just trying to wean your baby off or you're just trying to drop a pump because you have a lot of stored milk 
Um, there are ways to safely do that. Um, if you're interested in that, please let me know in the comments below and I will make sure to release a video on that. Here's another thing, guys. What a lot of people and doctors usually don't tell you this and I don't know why because diet is key to health. What you're putting in your body is key to your health. Um, so if you're actually eating a lot of saturated fats, like a lot of fried foods or, you know, the unhealthy fatty foods, not the healthy, but the unhealthy fatty foods, um, your milk is actually really full of fat and that's more likely to create clogs for you. And lastly, guys, I actually talk about this in my other um, yeast infection video is take a probiotic because a probiotic is so necessary for a lot of things in our bodies, including us not getting bacterial infections or yeast infections or any of that stuff. So taking a probiotic will actually help you in not, um, and not developing mastitis, which again is a bacterial infection in the breast. And some studies have shown that at some point they can try to heal mastitis, which again is a bacterial infection, with a probiotic versus using an antibiotic, which we all know the use of antibiotic and how dangerous it can be later down the line um, because of antibiotic resistance. So. Believe it or not, taking a probiotic can help you um, not ever needing to have to use an antibiotic and can even, they hope, there's some studies that show that it can help you heal mastitis. Um, I definitely would not do any of this without a doctor. I would definitely consult with your doctor on what you need to do, but taking just regularly as a pre preventative measure, taking a probiotic, um, and the studies show that Lactobacillus fermentum is the uh, bacteria species that you need in your probiotic to help with this. And it's actually the same probiotic that I mentioned in my yeast infection video um, because it actually helps with that as well. And it's the Garden of Life shelf stable women's probiotic in the links below. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate you. If you want me to look into anything for you, please let me know in the comments below. Please hit that like button if you like this and if it helps you in your breastfeeding journey. Thank you guys and I hope to see you guys again soon.